Okay, so we are going to try some collage. So first of all, you need to prepare some paper. So I am preparing lots of different colours. Um, just literally putting the paint on. You can use a tissue to spread it around. Um, I tend to like quite dark colours, but you can use nice bright colours if you want. Um, if you use a bit of cardboard, you can do all sorts of different techniques on them. Um, I tend to like to get a hairdryer and dry pieces off. Meaning, because it's acrylic paint, you don't have to use acrylic, you can use any paints really. Um, but it means that it kind of sits on top and you can also sometimes wipe it off as well, what you've kind of put on if you think it's the wrong colour or... I like it to be quite messy, so as you can see, I'm using all sorts. Um, a bit more it doesn't really matter you don't need to be too perfect at this stage because you'll be cutting into this paper so already I've got two sheets um, actually what you can do sometimes if, if you've got slightly wet hasn't really it's just transferred a little bit but you can see where it's transferred onto there but you can do that just don't get the paint too wet um, don't put too much water with it. You can also use coloured card as well and um, I've got some really good wax crayons which you can just literally cover and see what happens and just let go and let your inner child just have some fun. Um, you can also do this with paint as well. This is thinner paper so don't, um, don't use don't load up your paintbrushes too much um, but you can see where you can just have fun with colour and texture let's add a bit of white into that that way look at that lovely so you can do them all colourful like this if necessary um, if you want or you can keep them um, like one colour per piece of paper um, I'm going to do two more of these. Um, I might do a nice dark one. And what I tend to do as well is I mix my colours. So I mix, I don't ever use black. I use um, blue and brown for black and it just gives a real depth to the the colour um, and then I'll just literally vary the kind of the amounts of water that you use as well sometimes you use a little sometimes you use a lot and then I've got a slightly damp tissue with different colours on it already and because it's already started drying already you can just see where the paint is staying and where I can wipe it off kind of completely and make it quite uh, misty so it's just playing with the, the drying times, really. Um, and just kind of getting to know your paint. So let's have just a little bit of red. In fact, no, I think what I'll do is I'll keep it green. I'm just using what I've got on my paint palette, really. A burst of yellow there and I can dry that off I don't actually have a hairdryer in my house it's in my studio
so I've actually got um, a really nice orange which I'm actually just going to make some marks on. Just see what happens. But I'm not going to do too much to that one. And then I've got a nice green here, which um, again, I'm just not worrying too much about that. And then I've got, um, obviously you can make whatever marks you want on it. Um, so I've got, in fact, let's do this one as well. I wonder if... Um, I'm going to use like a flesh colour from my... Wax crayons. So I actually do it not looking actually, which makes it nice as well. So I've got these um, four colours which some of, a couple of them are very similar, but it doesn't matter. Um, and I'm actually just gonna start cutting. You can have a, a better idea of what you're gonna be um, making, um, but as you come to do more collage, you get lots of different bits. Um, and even these can throw up ideas of kind of, look, there's a flower shape there. Um, and if you overlay things, you can just see how things throw up ideas um, of things that you might want to make. So um, this in itself is just a really nice library of, of papers that I've got. Um, so I might just pick take that pink out actually. But even just the little marks there is quite nice. And that green. So you can see already that I've um, just got some nice colours going on there. Um, you don't have to put reds and blues and greens together. You can actually mix them up and start making lovely greeny blues with like depths of different colours. Um, so it just that maybe gives it a little bit more of a sophistication um, rather than just using primary colours out of the um, out of the pot. So let's have a look. So I am just going to cut. I've got broken scissors. Um, I think what I'll do just going to be quite brutal and start getting a sh some shapes together. So what's easiest to do is if you've got a piece of white paper, um, which I haven't got. <laughs> what we'll do is we'll make our make our picture on here so I'm gonna start with this as a shape and then I kind of quite like that as well so see already I have, um, let's have a look. an idea of what I want to do because our brains being what they are always makes connections between things that we kind of may have seen in the past um, and I can see a bird so we're going to give it pink legs I'm not being too precious about this at all. I literally am. So now, what is a really good thing to do is I get a white pencil and make that that. The 
these um, pastels are really nice just to give a bit of energy in a piece of work so I like quite messy things so um, can you see I've already made kind of an eye actually I don't mind it I could change it around and actually do kind of a different kind of a bird so if we So you can see these characters coming together. Um, just by rearranging them somehow. So if we do that. Don't like that green hat. So we'll actually go back to what we were intending. state my fingers but it doesn't matter to me that there's black on here as well you might want to be a bit more careful but I'm not bothering I'm not going to worry about it this is really quite quick um, So there we go, there's that. Um, I found a new use for wet wipes, which is great just to wipe my hands a bit cleaner so I'm not getting the muck everywhere. So, leave that away. I think I kind of quite like to have black wings somehow just sits a bit better and a smaller hat maybe so then I wonder If we've got a little bit here, cut out that red bit. Maybe one more, because three is the magic number. Okay, so what I quite like is, he looks, that looks a bit um, lonely on its own. So I'm going to do a wing behind him. Um, but I don't like the straight line of that, so I think that will do. So if I've got my black somewhere, I'm gonna don't necessarily need it on that side because I'm gonna pop that behind. If he's kind of maybe he's a bit angry as well so I don't know what's going on with his nose so he's so got a bit of a nose going on there and I quite like it if he was had a pink nose um, so I might just 
have a bit of pink going on there. So what we're going to do, he's quite cool, so what we're going to do is get a new piece of paper because I've made some muck on that and I'm going to start gluing him in place. So we need this piece first. I think maybe like that. And then let's put da, da, da. just make sure that was the I'm gonna put him going forward because I want him to be maybe on a bit of a mission. Um body language is really important when you're doing characters because you have to set the intention for the character in their posture. I'm still making a bit of mess, but it doesn't really matter. If I was going to scan it in, I would actually take the um, marks out anyway. So we'll get that one there. Might have to touch it up. I've just taken a bit of the black off there by putting my finger on it. The, um, there you go. That's that one. going to stick. So then, oh, his legs, we forgot his legs. I don't mind these little bits of pencil on them. I think that kind of adds something to it. So if we give him a bit of, we've put him forward and our legs are in a movement, are in movement kind of mode. I don't think we need that much. And just slip that underneath there. I think that's probably about right. I think what we could do is actually give him stripy legs. Maybe some red socks. So now his hat. Can't remember how we had it, maybe like that. I think maybe like that. And then instead of actually doing his cutouts, I quite fancy as if he's kind of running away. So now we just maybe need a mat a mouth. So I wonder if for a black pencil. This is the problem, when you get involved in what you're doing, you lose things. So now I'm kind of... Let's see how that's gonna look. He's one angry mama. We like that. He looks quite cool, smiling or laughing. Or da, 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 da. what should we do? I'm not so keen on that mouth. Maybe he's got he could have big lips. This is a bit like the potato man. You can just make it up as you go along and it's really quite fun. Um, let's see. See if we can do something with this. So if I do
that looks a bit more goofy I think I prefer and it's more in keeping with the that that almost was the wrong it was too neat but because I've made it this kind of more scruffy it kind of looks integral more than um, the other one so if we do that it looks just a bit goofy and there we have it so all we need to do is I use these china pens for my writing they're really really good so we just need to name him really um, Da, 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 da. I kind of quite fancy the f he might be kind of a sproglet. Sproglet goes forth. And then maybe what you can do is make a few of these. I would say make three, maybe in different sizes. And then maybe you can actually um, make a... Um, make a story out of them if you had a couple. So there you go.